from the United Methodist Church are now more open to the idea of LGBTQ members and clergy and holding same-sex marriages, making monumental changes to a number of LGBTQ policies. Our Brian Savage has more on the changes. Tuesday, delegates at the United Methodist Church General Conference in Charlotte, North Carolina voted 667 to 54 to remove penalties on holding same-sex marriages and undoing the church's ban on giving LGBTQ members consideration for clergy and investing in gay-friendly ministries. The vote comes after the United Methodist Church's long-standing bans on strict LGBTQ policies for marriage funding and ordination. With policies loosened, Communications Director of the Dakotas Conference of the United Methodist Church, Doreen Gossmeyer, says the church still has the final say on whether they add an LGBTQ member to their ministry. Clergy can continue to make the decision um, and they can now use sexual orientation as part of that decision if they choose. Gossmeyer added clergy who are openly gay, lesbian, or identify as LGBTQ cannot previously be appointed in the United Methodist Church. However, that penalty has been removed. Black Hills Center for Equality President Tony Diamond says the relaxing of policies could lead to more diversity amongst the clergy and the local Methodist churches. We've done partnerships and work with five churches within the community, and I think this will just only serve to open up the doors you know, for even more churches to get involved, um, and I'm excited about that opportunity. Diamond says she wouldn't be surprised if more same-sex marriage ceremonies occur in Methodist churches around the state. I think you will see more. I, I know there I know there's several friends of mine that have talked about getting married, um, and they've had to go either outside the state or do it elsewhere. Or, um, but now this will open up the door for them to be able to do it locally, be able to do it within the church. Gosmeyer says there may be a reason why policies are being reversed now and not 10 years ago. When you're meeting as a worldwide conference, um, the voices, there's just more diversity. There's more people that um, have different contexts. And so I, I just think it's, it's a reflection of where the world is and where different people are today. Reporting for CODA Territory News, I'm Brian Savage.